Today was a somber one for people across the U.S. and in Fort Wayne. The community gathered to remember those who lost their lives in Orlando. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us with more. Angelica. An act of terrorism hundreds of miles away hit home for many here in Fort Wayne. Tonight, dozens of people were part of a prayer service at Plymouth Church. The service began by lighting 50 candles for those killed in the attack, including the shooter. After the choir sang, church leaders from different religious denominations offered prayers for Orlando, the LGBT community, and the nation as a whole. Then the names of all 49 victims were read, followed by a moment of silence. The goal was to unite everyone, regardless of religious or personal beliefs. What happened isn't because of religion. And in, 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 in a service like this, it showed how religion can unite the people. I do hope that this mass shooting is just not just another one that we're going to gloss over. I hope that we can do something about it, but doing something about it by pitching holing one religion is not, it's not the right path. A candlelight vigil immediately followed the prayer service. Hundreds of people went to the Allen County Courthouse Green where the memorial continued. There I found a Fort Wayne woman who says Orlando holds a special place in her heart. For many people in Fort Wayne, this tragedy hits close to home. But for Amber O'Daniels, Orlando was her home. I was born in Orlando. Uh, it was my home for 27 years. I came out of the closet in Orlando. The Orlando nightclubs welcomed me. Orlando's LGBT community helped her get through some of the most difficult times in her life. Helped me when I was uh, suicidal and depressed and I felt alienated. Without them, I have no idea where I would be if I uh, would just even be alive. It's a debt she feels like she could never repay. I owe them my life. And, and to see that others were targeted simply because of who they are is, is devastating. O'Daniels joined some 500 other Fort Wayne residents who expressed anger, sadness, and most of all, confusion. But seeing the community come together in support helps ease some of the pain. We know that there are people out there who doesn't hate us and who wants us to live our lives be happy and love who we want to love. O'Daniels hopes eventually people will remember Orlando for what it is instead of what happened there. You know, we want to think and remember Orlando as Disney. And to think of it as now this horrific site of a massacre is um, heartbreaking. There will be another candlelight vigil on Wednesday at Sweeney Park. For more information on that, head over to Wayne.com. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.